Okay, hello. This is just a quick video showing you what settings I recommend uh, you should be playing on, both for controls and video and everything, if you are planning to speedrun Mirror's Edge. Uh, this guide should be good for any sort of category, though you might want to unbind some of the, uh, the keys if you're doing something like glitchless, so you don't accidentally do the glitches in the run. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much. So first, video. You know, obviously it depends sort of what your what your system is and uh, how good it is. But in general, you should probably be playing with low graphic settings just to get you know as minimal lag as possible. Brightness and contrast don't matter at all. Just use whatever you like. I like to have brightness up because it can make things a little bit easier to see, but it really doesn't make a big difference. Resolution, uh, I have it in full screen. I know a lot of people like to run it in windowed mode, to which there are uh, various mods and key bindings you can find that I will link if I remember. But, uh, yeah. If you're playing on full screen, just whatever resolution your monitor is, is what you should have there. Uh, V-Sync should be off. You don't want to use V-Sync because it can you know, basically make things lag in weird places. Uh, you, you can run with it on, but most people don't. Uh, by most, I think pretty much everyone, unless they just want it to look really good. Like if they're doing a chapter run or something. Uh, like I said, graphics should generally be on lowest in, unless you can like absolutely run it on higher quality without any issues, then, I mean, go for it, but most people will just keep it on low. Uh, Anti-aliasing, same thing with the lowest, it uh, can help reduce some lag. And physics, you need to have off, pretty much. Uh, I mean, some people will have it on for certain chapter runs, but like, there are a couple things in the any percent run to which you really need to have physics off for. Some things actually will not work, uh, especially at the end of chapter two. Uh, one of the bars you land on when you do the final kick glitch will, will fall after a couple seconds if you have physics on, so definitely have that off. Audio, doesn't matter what settings you use. Controls. All right, so mouse sensitivity, just whatever you're comfortable with, with really. Uh, just use what works. So, I mean, whatever you want to change here, fine. For up action, you want to bind one direction of scroll wheel. Personally, I like scroll down, but you can also use scroll up. And then for interact, you want the other mouse wheel direction. So for me, scroll up. All right, other than that, there's nothing that you have to change really, though personally I like to change walk to alt and then hint to control. I just think that's a little bit easier for a trick that I uh, do in the runs, but I know other people like hint to be on alt because really you're never going to use the walk button ever, so you can just bind it to whatever because you'll never use it. Other than that, I think everything's good. I know I play with the mouse sensitivity way down because my mouse has it really high. Uh, other than that, you should be good to go for controls. Game settings, uh, you should play on easy. It is faster a little bit because the Celeste fight requires less hits on easy than normal and less than hard. And there's also a couple places where you're much less likely to die if you're playing on easy compared to normal. Uh, like on the uh, RNG guards and a couple places in chapter 2 and 3 and 9. So I really recommend you play on easy. Um, everything else doesn't matter. Some people don't like runner vision, so they turn it off, but I don't mind it. Other than that, I think that's all the things you'll need to play. Yeah, that should be good. So hopefully that answers most questions. If you have any, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. Alright, thank you. Bye.